Witajcie najmniejsi, pragnę Was zaprosić na materiał, który przywiozłem z Katalonii, z Barcelony, z Toreforum 1, ale z kategorii juniorskiej materiał, który potem jak oglądałem, segregowałem e, i szkowałem do publikacji, bardzo mi się spodobał jednak, bo jakby się go robi do bieżąco, człowiek nie ma dystansu, dopiero jak go obejrzałem, to, to no, muszę powiedzieć, że jestem z niego bardzo zadowolony i bardzo Was chcę nim e, też zainteresować. Jest to materiał, w którym Roman Biliński, jeden z naszych juniorów, e, naszych nadziei na to, że będziemy mieli Polaka znowu w Formule 1, pokazuje bolid kategorii Freka, czyli de facto jakieś podstawy boli do jednomiejscowego, który wcale nie jest aż taki podstawowy i taki prosty, czyli w zasadzie no, podstawy konstrukcji każdego bolidu łącznie z bolidem Formuły 1. W uproszczeniu bardzo fajnie przeze mną opowiedziane, wytłumaczone od początku do końca najróżniejsze aspekty, tak więc bardzo serdecznie Was zapraszam do tego, żebyście sobie ten materiał obejrzeli i do tego, żebyście się interesowali jeszcze bardziej młodymi polskimi kierowcami. So Roman Bieliński, we're like in the Trident racing uh, tent, uh, and you will show us around the uh, uh, Freca racing car. Freca, it's a uh, one makes series, isn't it? So that means that you all race the same uh, chassis. Yes, yeah, we all race the Tata chassis. Um, <laughs> um, yes, we all race the Tata chassis. Uh, obviously, they're very very good chassis, um, very incredible uh, cars as you can see. Um, but what's the weight of the chassis? Uh, I know I know the weight of everything car and driver together. Yeah. Um, this is 680 but with race fuel we're looking more about 720, 720. Uh, kg um, which is quite heavy and heavier than anything I've driven before. Uh -huh. um, but it's just something as a driver I need to get used to. And so how, how fast can it go? Um, we can go about 275 kilometers an hour. Monza? Um, Monza. Um, also, we can get to quite high speeds at Spa as well. Um, because in Monza and Spa, we run one less of this. Uh -huh. So we take this off um, because we don't need the downforce. Yeah, for less and drag, yeah? So less drag, um, so we can really go fast. Mm. And how, how fast do you get 200 per km per hour? Do you even know? Uh, no, I don't know. I know um, for us to get 0 to 100, um, every team measures this differently, but uh, a good start is maybe about 2. Point very good start about 2.8 uh -huh. um, but every team measures it differently so this may not be accurate for other teams or other yeah. other things sure. so do you do you use brake on the start um, no no um, because the clutch and this is uh, very delicate so uh -huh. you can't preload so much uh -huh. um, Otherwise, you'll burn the clutch and then you ruin the whole start. So you have to be very careful. Okay, so let's start with the aerodynamics. You have a front wing here. Front wing here. Um, How much g-force uh, you can you can get from the aerodynamics here? Oh, uh, I mean, I think uh, I'd say we can get about two and a half, pushing it maybe three g's uh -huh. um, in uh, lateral load in corners, uh, and this will be more Mugello. So, but this is at the very most for us um, but when you're the real physical part though for us is the steering so uh -huh. um, yeah that's no power we're... steering huh? no no power steering um, and the freca because the wheel is so close to you you're using muscles that you don't usually use uh -huh. uh, to drive a car so it's very tough and then the one the only proper way of training is just driving the car basically yeah yeah i mean of course the gym helps and uh my fitness trainers and things help but driving the car is always going to be different and always is the best training mm -hmm. if i'm being honest okay so let's go to the front suspension like the suspension kind of here like uh, setup is kind of uh, like formula one Mostly, uh, you know, like, yeah. like it's the same, the same principle, yes, of working. Same so, principle, yes. Yeah. yeah so, I what can you change in the suspension as a driver? I mean, so you've got springs. Um, there's different type uh, stiffness of springs, st softer and stiffer springs. You've got roll bars and things like yeah. this, so you can again disconnect and there's uh, connect and then you've got different uh, positions and things like this, uh, which can make a huge difference to the car. So. Yeah. Um, driving it, you have to always adapt to this as well. Mm -hmm. And so, how much do you work on this sort of setup? I think you have engineer, you know, uh, to, do, to take time. it off your head. Yeah. Um, I mean, as a driver, you're a driver, but also you're an engineer. 
because you're the one who's feeling everything and you feel everything through the steering wheel that comes through everything here, mm -hmm. through mm -hmm. the tires onto the ground. So um, it's really important for me to feed back to the team mm -hmm. correctly that this is how I feel, this is how I could go faster, this is what I need. Mm -hmm. So it's extremely important. Here are the brakes. Brakes here, yeah. Uh, uh, how well does it brake? Sorry? How well does it brake? Um, Honestly, the Freck is pretty good on the brakes. Um, left foot braking? Left foot braking. Um, but the brake is very soft in the Freck. Softer than anything I've driven before. Oh, that's interesting. Very, very soft. So it goes in deep? Yeah. Um, you can. There's a, quite a lot of travel and um, you don't need to hit so hard because the um, when you hit really high uh, brake pressure, the rear really steps out. Oh, okay. And, um, to a point where you can't control it. Yeah. So um, you have to be careful with this and it's something special for this car. Do you work a lot on the brake bias? Yeah, massively. I mean, um, rear locking is a thing in this car. So uh -huh. um, yeah, you have to adapt to this so much and um, through the lap, you're changing the bias um depending on the track mm -hmm. so yeah it's it's the only tool i've got as a driver in the car that i can change myself when i'm on the track uh -huh. so um anything i can do with myself with the bias here uh -huh. um if i have oversteer Under right, understeer yeah? yeah just here uh by turning it a click to the left right it goes round, but uh -huh. i'll keep it in the position it is for now uh -huh. um is the it's the only thing I can change for now when uh -huh. I'm driving on track. Uh -huh. I can see there's a like really nice shaped uh, side pods. Yeah. So the obviously radiator is here, isn't it? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Um, so water. Sorry. Water. Water. And yeah. air. Yeah. You've got every. It's different from one side to another, but um, yeah, pretty much obviously an extremely important part of the car. More the engineers part um, because they have to see temps things mm -hmm. like this which I can give back to them with information on the wheel and they have it on the data extremely important because this can be a lot to do with the engine and they're like I, I can see a lot of weight here a it's lot halo, of weight. Yeah. the halo is extremely heavy and to have the weight so high up um, it's how high is it in the car with the halo or yeah. no the halo in the car yeah um, Honestly, this halo I'm not too sure about, but I think you can get some that are like 15 kilos 15. or so. 15? Oh yeah, man. It, but there's some that I think uh, the titanium ones are now new uh -huh. and they're quite light. Uh, this one I'm not too sure about. Maybe it actually says on here, um, but uh -huh. what, whatever the weight is, to have this much weight so high up really ruins the center of gravity. Yeah. So, and you can feel it when you're driving the car. Uh -huh. So it's uh, something to get used to, but no, it's, uh, it's interesting. And now the uh, mirror, mirrors, can you see anything in them? Um, on, <laughs> oh, they're just there, you know. No, I mean, for, yeah, you can. regulations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, you can, you can see a bit, but I mean, it would be nice um, to, for example, they're curved a little bit, so you've uh -huh. got a bit more view. Um, but you can't see if, for example, if something is here. Uh -huh. um, so a lot of it is predicting where uh -huh. things are and things like this. Okay, and now we have like a cockpit. Uh, so I have, I see the driver's seat. I think uh, you need to shape it around your back. Yeah, um, so this is molded to me. Uh, if I move this, actually, mm -hmm. you can see the seat is molded to me um, mm -hmm. at the start of the year they put a foam in here with me around it and then they shave it down to what suits me and everything like this so honestly it's it's quite comfortable the uh -huh. team did a really good job with it yeah, but um, you sit on the carbon fiber i can see <laughs> yeah <laughs> like uh, the floor. i mean you're you a tall driver huh? yes uh, i'm a tall driver but also you have the uh, uh, air intake here, so you don't want your helmet to be too high uh -huh. uh, because you want to flow as much air into this as possible. Uh -huh. But then you want to get the visibility you need. Uh -huh. um, and also with the halo, there's a new rule with how high you can if the car flips. Yes. So 
It's all done very precisely, but yeah, it's, it's very good. And how about the steering wheel? Uh, yes, yeah, steering wheel here, I mean... Uh, Can you take it out? Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, if I take that out here. Very important buttons here. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, you've got the upper gear, downer gear here. Mm -hmm. um, so you're shifting constantly. And the clutch is in the floor? Uh, we've got third clutch, uh, foot clutch. Third, but yeah, foot clutch, uh, three pedals here. Uh -huh. um, so the, the clutch is in the middle, or uh, no, to the left. So uh, the brakes. brake is in the, in, in the yeah, middle. brake in the middle, uh -huh. uh, throttle on the right. Uh -huh. um, yeah, that's but the next every step. But, but above. you use clutch only for a start, and then it's like only for uh, start yeah, and yeah. stop, uh, and then it's just up a gear, uh -huh. down a gear, simple uh -huh. as that. Um, Important buttons, I guess that you could say. Start, it starts the yeah. car, it starts the engine. <laughs> Quite simple. Um, comms, so for the radio, radio with my team, of course, very important. Pit lane limiter. Pit limiter. Gear. Um, yeah, so the, the, the reflet, the other. You've got everything on here. Reefs, huh? uh, but this is a very, it's a new button for this year. Uh, but the push the pass, so... Ah, okay. Yeah. How many times on a lap? We, uh, on, on a race? We got five push the pass in a race. Um, and does it give you more power? Yeah, more power, and we can use it for 15 seconds. 15 and seconds. you have to be... Each time or in a race? Uh, each time you press it, you have 15 okay. seconds, okay. and then it cancels, and then you okay. four, three, two, one. Uh -huh. um, and it just gives us that bit more power to be able to possibly defend or overtake or a move, overtake, yeah. um, which is important and yeah, it's a cool little thing because mm -hmm. in motorsport now, with the dirty air, I mean, dirty air coming off the wings and things yeah, like yeah. this is, um, it's tough to follow a driver. Mm -hmm. So it's a nice thing they added for this year. Uh -huh. The rain is like for the tires when you change the rain tires? Uh, no, so rain, we've got our rain light, so activates ah, okay. the light at the back of the car. Um, which then uh, is a safety thing and things like this. And page is just to yeah, page for the dashboard. I yeah. can show you if I... Uh -huh. If I'll you start the car. <laughs> if I flip this switch here, mm -hmm. ah, cool. start to... Everything loads up. And then, yeah, I mean, this is pretty much what we look at at the moment as a driver. Neutral. Um, Neutral and obviously you can Oil pressure. go into first and pressure. both to back yeah, into yeah. neutral. Um, yeah, so you've got your page here. You can look uh -huh. at different things and things like this that are probably... I don't look at it so much. I'm uh -huh. mainly looking at the brake bias and things like this. Um, Focused on driving. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, really, I'm only looking at the lap time and the red lights that come on. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, that's the main part of the steering wheel, I guess you could say. Uh -huh. So yeah. Cool. And now we have, the, here's the engine, it's Alpine. Yes. Uh, um, what's the capacity? In terms of... Uh, how, how, big, how big is it? It's, it's a four cylinder for sure, two uh, ball, I'm guessing. It, in terms of... 1.6? Honestly, I don't know. Uh, this is the part I don't know. Uh -huh. um, as a driver, I, mo I mainly focus on the driving part. Um, but no, I know in terms of power, for example, uh -huh. we got um, 280 horsepower. Um, Not bad. With it being a heavy car, also makes it quite difficult um, for maximum straight line speed. Um, but yeah, no, it's, uh, it's very reliable. I've had no issues, so uh -huh. um, <laughs> that's, that's a very important uh -huh. and good thing. Does it have any sort of turbo lag or, or, or anything? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we've got a turbo. Um, turbo lag, I mean. Yeah, well, I mean, I guess anything with a turbo, of course, there's going to be a bit delay and lag. Um, so it just, honestly, if you drive in a different way, um, you can kind of get rid of it uh -huh. um, by spooling up the turbo, say, having a little bit of power, uh -huh. um, you can spool it up so then when you get onto full power, you get everything. How many gears? Uh, six, six gears. Yeah. Six gears. Um, can you change the gears itself or they're just preset for the whole season? No, preset whole season. Uh -huh. um, so it makes it difficult because then you go from tracks, say this year we have Monza, yeah. where you <laughs> use all six, and then we go to Monaco, um, 
which is crazy. You had some gears, it's just very low gear. So yeah. yeah, it makes it interesting, but that's how it is. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Setup fuel, what does it mean? Um, I believe this is just them. Uh, it's set, up set, it, yeah, yeah. it's set up and they've got the fuel in it or yeah, something like this. Ready. This is more of a mechanics job, uh -huh. I don't know. So here's like the problematic rear axle, yeah. rear brakes. You can see that they're like both towards the center of gravity. The front one mm -hmm. is on the rear. Yeah, I, again. And the rear one is on the front of the hub. Mm -hmm. Brembo's again. and then like the rear wing. Her dynamics again, so I think it generates more downforce than the front Yeah, wing. I mean, of, of course you've got uh, a lot more surface area here, but the rear wing is extremely important. And it's also important that from everything from the front wing, also the air from there can come yeah. to the rear wing. So as a engine, more of the engineering side, you have to really plan this out. Um, but yeah, I mean, this very important because the rear wing is yes for balance but also straight line speed yeah. whereas the front wing is more for balance so a very important part of the car like can the team modify the wing itself or you can only change the the, the, the angles uh, only the angles um, if you look more on the inside here you can mm. the clicks yeah you can see how many uh, oh, wing positions you can run um, that's there's, there's a lot, um, and I mean, yeah, this is why we have to be so precise as uh -huh. drivers um, in our feedback, because uh -huh. one position, say more or less, could r ruin your straight line speed and then car balance, so it's, yeah. it's very critical. It's very critical. critical. And then the, the, the rain lights, as we can see, and the diffuser is quite slick. Quite big, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, pretty big diffuser. Um, yeah, I mean, as you said, we've got our rain light. Also, uh, it's currently like this because the pit limiter's on. Um, but if I change it to um, turn this off and put rain, now it uh, uh -huh. should be exactly the same, which I did not expect. Uh, no, I think that's because you're still... Yeah, when no, the car's it, running, it it's run, yeah. uh, But it'll be more flashing at you and things like this. Um, uh, the, there's like a thing, very significant, significant thing that is missing from the car. Yeah, uh, the tyres? Yes, yes uh, <laughs> I think they're vital, yeah? They're maybe most important. Yeah, I wouldn't be going anywhere without them. Um, no, we use uh, Pirelli's, uh, very good tyre. Um, is it? Yeah, because in Formula One it's kind of problematic. Yeah, I mean, for me to, from things that I've driven on in the past to now go on the Pirellis, I absolutely love it. Um, mm -hmm. We they, we experience a lot of tyre deck, but I mean, as drivers, you have to experience this because in F3, F2, and F1, it's uh -huh. it's super critical. Yeah. So to learn it now is um, it's important. So yeah, is it also so sensitive on the one lap? Yeah, I mean, for example, today my first push to second push, I gained seven tenths, and then uh -huh. my third push, I lost seven tenths, uh -huh. and my driving felt really good. So, yeah, you have the the drop and the peak is is very critical uh, because it, it again it comes down to the little differences, but PSI and the tires, if you're one or uh, one above or one yeah. below, it can make a huge difference. Um, so yeah, you have to be super precise. Is it one slick compound for all the circuits or you have several? Yeah, one slick compound. Mm -hmm. uh, we get two sets uh, for free practice. Mm -hmm. So uh, usually you run, you run one set in the first session and one in the next. And then you get um, one new for quali one and one new for quali two. And the race probably, yeah? Uh, the race you have to use for quali ties. Uh -huh. so, so we start on used tires. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. And you cannot like take another new set that you could use on Sunday and use it on the Saturday race. I wish, but no. <laughs> no. It would be nice, <laughs> uh, but unfortunately not. Okay, so to finish off uh, with, uh, how is it to drive this car? Do you like it? I mean, to drive any car, my opinion, is amazing. But no, it, it, it's an incredible car to drive. And um, especially if, with this team behind me, Trident, they set the car up pretty amazingly. Um, so yeah, to drive their car as well, 
is pretty special. It's good. So okay, this was like Fred Kakar with Roman Belinsky, especially for you. Thanks for that, mate, and good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.